good morning all of you in this session i am going to explain about some simple problems on transverse fillet welding and uh, parallel fillet welding okay i will explain six problems on these two topics first of all you have to know the fundamentals about lap joints and the butt joints the lap joint or the fillet joint is obtained by overlapping the plates and then welding the edges of the plates okay so these are the examples for uh, lap joints okay the cross section of the fillet is approximately triangular the fillet joints may be singular single transverse fillet welding and a double transverse fillet welding and a parallel fillet welding okay these three are the examples for lap joints the fillet joints are shown in figure a single transverse fillet joint has the disadvantages disadvantages that the edge of the plate which is not welded can buckle or wrap out the shape now butt joint the butt joint is obtained by placing the plates edge to edge edge to edge as shown in figure okay in butt joints in butt weldings the plate edges do not require beveling do not require beveling if the thickness of the plate is uh, less than 5 mm okay on the other hand if the plate thickness is 5 mm to 5 mm to 12.5 mm the edges should be beveled beveled to v or uh, u grooved on both sides okay these are the some example diagrams for butt joints this one is a square butt joint this one is a single v butt joint and this one is a single u butt joint this one is a double v double v butt joint and this one is a double u butt joint okay now we have to we have to know the fundamentals about the strength strength of a transverse fillet weld so this is the example for single transverse fillet weld and uh, this one is the example for double transverse fillet weld transverse fillet weld or lap joints okay we have already discussed that okay the fillet or lap joint is obtained by overlapping the plates and then the welding welding the edges of the plates okay the transverse fillet welds are designed for tensile strength let's consider a single and a double transverse fillet welds as shown in figure a and b okay in order to determine the strength of the fillet joint it is assumed that the section of the fillet is is right angle triangle abc with hypotenuse ac making equal angles with other two sides ab and bc okay so here the angle between the corner a is 45 degrees and the angle between the corner c is 45 degrees okay here the angle at uh, corner b is 90 degrees okay so this one is the reinforcement okay the enlarged view of the fillet is shown here okay the length of each side is known as leg or size okay the length of each side that means the thickness the thickness of a plate is called size size of the weld okay and perpendicular distance of the hypotenuse from the intersecting of legs is known as 
throat throat thickness okay that means the length of uh, db is called throat thickness t okay db length db equal to t that is a throat thickness the minimum area of the weld is obtained at the throat bd which is given by the product of the throat thickness and the length of the weld let small t is the throat thickness bd s equal to leg or size of weld here you can observe from this length of db equal to throat t small t and s is the size size or leg of the weld or thickness of the plate okay now small l small l is the length of the weld here this one is length of the weld from figure we find that the throat thickness is small t equal to small t equal to s into sin 45 degrees okay from triangle bdc you can observe from triangle bcd okay from triangle bcd here this is angle 45 degrees here the opposite side is a small t db equal to small t and cb cb is the hypotenuse for this triangle okay for bcd triangle bc is the hypotenuse and bd is the opposite side so sin theta equal to opposite side by hypotenuse so the, here the opposite side is uh, t and uh, height is uh, uh, hypotenuse is s so from the triangle from pythagoras uh, theorem the throat thickness is small t equal to s into sin 45 equal to 0 0.707 s okay, s is the size of weld or size of plate plate thickness now minimum area of the weld or throat area equal to capital A equal to throat thickness small t and the length of the weld small l. Here this is the length of the weld. Okay. The tensile strength of the joint for single fillet weld. Here P is the tensile loads. Tensile loads acting on the plates. So the tensile strength for the joint for single fillet weld single fillet weld p equal to throat area into tensile stress okay here the throat area is 0 0.707 into s into l and sigma t is the stress tensile stress okay it is this is the tensile strength for single fillet weld okay single transverse fillet weld in similar way for a double transverse fillet weld you have to consider you have to multiply with the two with this equation so p equal to 2 into 0 0.707 s into l into sigma t is the value of uh, tensile strength tensile strength for uh, double transverse fillet well okay p equal 1.414 s into l into sigma t is the tensile strength for double transverse fillet well okay since the weld is weaker than the plate due to slag and blow holes, therefore the weld is given a reinforcement, reinforcement which may be taken as 10% of the plate thickness. Okay, so here you can observe this is a reinforcement. Okay. Now this is a double transverse fillet weld. Okay, double transverse fillet weld sorry parallel double parallel fillet weld double parallel fillet weld the parallel fillet weld joints are designed for shear strength consider a double parallel fillet weld joint as shown in figure a we know that the minimum area of weld or the throat area already we discussed in previous uh, slide a equal to 0 0.707 s into l is the throat area okay t is the thickness of the throat or thickness of the plate s is the size of the weld 
L is the length of the weld. Okay. If tau is the allowable shear stress for the weld metal, then the shear strength of the joint for a single parallel fillet weld. P equal to throat area into allowable shear stress. Okay. For a single single parallel fillet weld. For double parallel fillet weld, you have to consider two times the thickness, two times uh, thickness of uh, throat. So, this is the formula for a double parallel fillet weld. Okay, this is the example for a combination of uh, transverse and parallel fillet welded joint. Okay, yeah, this one is the transverse fillet weld. These two are the parallel fillet welds. Okay, L1 is the length of the transverse fillet weld. L2 is the length of the parallel fillet weld. Okay, P is the applied uh, tensile forces. Okay, if there is a combination of a single transverse and double parallel fillet wells as shown in figure, then the strength of the joint is given by the sum of the strengths of a single transverse and double parallel fillet wells. Mathematically, P equal to 0.707 S into L1 into sigma T. This is the formula for a single transverse, single transverse fillet well. And 1.414 S into L2 into tau is the formula for double parallel fillet welds. Okay. In order to allow for a starting and stopping of the bed, 12.5 mm should be added to the length of the each weld obtained by the above expression. Okay. For reinforced fillet welds, the throat dimension may be taken as 0 0.85 into T. Okay. Now, this is the example problem. The question is uh, a fillet, uh, sorry, a plate 100 mm wide and 10 mm thick is to be welded to another plate by means of a double transverse fillet weld. The plates are subjected to static load of 80 kilonewtons. Find the length of weld if the permissible tensile stress in the weld does not exceed 55 megapascal. Okay, this is the given question. In this question, you have to consider double transverse fillet weld. Here the question is uh, double transverse fillet weld. Okay, so you have to consider this diagram. Okay, here small l is the length of the weld. Okay, S is the size of the weld. Size of the weld, S equal to thickness of the weld, thickness of the plate. Okay, here P is the tensile load. And uh, from the given question, the static tensile load is uh, 80 kilonewtons. Okay, here P equal to 80 kilonewtons. Okay, and yes, S is the thickness of the plate. So S equal to 10 mm. And the uh, permissible tensile stress is uh, 55 megapascal, that is sigma t. So the given values are uh, width equal to 100 mm, width of the plate, width of the plate equal to 100 mm. Yeah, this one width, okay, approximate uh, width of the plate. Now, T is the thickness of the plate, 10 mm. So, yeah, this is S equal to T. And the applied uh, tensile load, P equal to 80 kilonewtons, that is 80,000 newtons. And the sigma T is the tensile stress induced in the welding material. L is the length of the weld, small l is the length of the weld. Okay, here from the figure, you can observe. Yes, size of the weld equal to thickness of the plate. Okay, so S equal to T. 
equal to 10 mm. Here the T value thickness of the plate is given 10 mm. So from the from the given values, you have to determine the value of length of weld L. We know that maximum load which the plates can carry for a double transverse fillet weld P. Okay. Already we know the formula for a double transverse fillet weld. P is the load, resisting load or uh, tensile strength. Okay, tensile strength or tensile load equal to two, two for a double transverse fillet weld into 0.707 S into L is the area of a weld in sigma T is the stress, tensile stress in the welding material. Okay. So finally, the tensile strength or uh, tensile load P equal to 1.414 S into L into sigma T. Okay. So here, the value of S equal to 10 mm and L we have to determine and sigma T equal to 55 megapascal and P, P equal to 80,000. So substitute all values in this equation. You can get the value of uh, length of the weld L equal to 102.86 mm. This is the answer for this problem. In this question, you can observe the given data is, uh, is related to double transverse fillet weld. For double transverse fillet welds, you have to multiply, you have to multiply two with the single transverse fillet weld. Okay. Now, this is the question for uh, next second problem. In this question, first of all, you have to identify the given values. So here the given question related to parallel fillet weld. Okay. A plate 100 mm wide and 10 mm thick is to be welded to another plate by means of a double parallel fillets. The plates are subjected to static load of 80 kN. Find the length of the weld. If the permissible shear stress in the weld does not exceed 55 MPa. Okay. This is the given question and this is a diagram, given diagram. Here from the given question, first of all, you have to identify the given values. Here. The width of the plate is given, but there is no need need this value width. Okay. Wide or width is not required for determining the value of uh, L. Okay, there is no need. Now you have to consider thickness. Thickness of the plate T equal to 10 mm. Yeah, this one is the thickness or uh, size of the weld. T or S is the thickness of the plate. And and uh, this question related to double parallel parallel fillet welds. Okay, so yeah, this one is the parallel fillet welds. The plates are subjected to static load of 80 kilonewtons. Yeah, the load acting on the plate is 80, 80 kilonewtons. That is 80,000 newtons. P is the tensile load. Tensile loads acting on the welded joints. Okay. P equal to 80,000 newtons. And here the tensile stress, uh, sorry, here the shear stress. Shear stress induced in the plate material is uh, tau equal to 55 megapascal. Okay. The given values are uh, width of the plate, 100 mm, thickness of the plate equal to 10 mm. Load, load acting on the welded joint, P equal to 80,000. And uh, shear stress induced in the plate equal to 55 megapascal. And here let L equal to length of the welded joint. S is the size of the weld or thickness. That size of the weld is equal to thickness of the plate. That is value equal to 10 mm. And we know that uh, maximum load which the plates can carry for double parallel fillet weld. For double parallel fillet weld, you have to consider P equal to P equal to 18 P equal to 1.414 into S into L into tau is the formula for uh, double parallel fillet well and the value of P equal to 80,000. Okay, from this equation you can get the value of uh, length of the weld L equal to 1 or 3 mm. Okay, so this is the answer. After that you have to add 
12.5 mm for starting and stopping of weld run okay so the total length of the weld l equal to 1 or 3 plus 12.5 mm equal to 115.5 mm is the length of the weld okay now this is the question for uh, problem number three okay so this one this problem also related to parallel fillet weld okay here a plate 100 mm wide and 12.5 mm thick is to be welded to another plate by means of our parallel fillet welds the plates are subjected to a load of 15 newtons find the length of the weld so that the maximum stress does not exceed 56 megapascal consider the joint first under static loading and then under static loading okay in this question first of all you have to get you have to identify the given values here the width of the plate is given that is 100 mm but there is no need no need there is no use for determining the length of the weld okay width is uh, not required and here thickness uh, thickness of the plate t equal to 12.5 mm that thickness value equal to size of weld okay thickness of weld equal to size of weld equal to 12.5 okay and uh, this one is t okay t r s yeah, the given problem is pa double parallel fillet welds and double parallel fillets welds. The plates are subjected to a load of 50 kN. That value is P. Okay. That is a load acting on the welded joint. P equal to 50 kN. That means 50,000 N. Find the length of the weld L. Okay. Here yeah, the shear stress shear stress is uh, 56 mega pascal okay from these values you have to determine the length of the weld l when the load is uh, static after that uh, you have to determine length of the weld when the load is uh, static okay so in this case uh, this problem consists of two cases uh, with static loading and uh, static loading the given values are uh, width w equal to 100 mm and thickness of the plate t equal to size of the weld s equal to 12.5 mm okay from the question and here the applied load or tensile load p equal to 50 kilometers that value equal to 50,000 newtons and here the maximum shear stress value is given that is a tau tau equal to 56 mega pascal for parallel fillet welding, for parallel fillet welds, you have to consider shear stress. Okay. Here the load is uh, parallel to the welding, welded joint. Okay. So shear stress will be induced in the joint. L is the length of the weld required. In case one, you have to determine the length of the weld when the load is static. Already we know that the already we know the formula for tensile strength for double parallel fillet weld. Okay, for double parallel fillet welds, uh, tensile strength P equal to 1.414 into S into L into tau. Tau is the shear stress, L is the length of the weld, S is the size of the weld or thickness of the plate. Okay, now P equal to 50,000. So substitute the values in this equation. P equal to 50,000 and S is S equal to 12.5, L equal to, oh, we don't know the value of L, you have to determine and the tau equal to 56, okay, 56 mega Pascal, okay. From this equation, length L equal to 50.5 mm. So this is the length, length of the joint, but you have to add 12.5 mm for starting and stopping of the weld run, okay. So L equal to the final uh, length of uh, parallel fillet weld when the static load, when the load is static, L equal to 50.5 plus 12.5 equals 63 mm. Okay. In case two, you have to consider length of the weld for uh, static loading. Okay. From this table, first of all, you have to 
we have to select stress concentration factor. Here, the given problem is uh, parallel fillet weld. Okay. Our given problem is parallel fillet weld. For parallel fillet welds, the stress concentration factor is uh, 2.7. Okay. For reinforced butt welds, you have to consider 1.2. For transverse fillet welds, for transverse fillet welds, we have to consider 1.5. Okay, for parallel fillet welds, we have to consider 2.7. For T butt joint with the sharp corners, you have to consider 2. Okay. Here our question is uh, parallel fillet welds. So you have to consider 2.7 for this problem. Okay, from the table 10.6, we find that uh, the stress concentration factor for parallel fillet welding parallel fillet welding is 2.7 okay already we know the formula for uh, permissible shear stress permissible shear stress equal to tau equal to stress divided by factor of stress concentration factor okay so tau equal to 20.74 newton per mm square okay already we know the formula for uh, tensile strength Tensile strength P equal to 1.414 into S into L into tau is the formula for tensile strength for a parallel fillet weld. Okay. Now you have to substitute the value of P and L. So sorry, you have to substitute the value of P, S, and tau. Okay. From this equation, you can get the value of length of the weld. Length of the weld L equal to 50. So 15 to 10 power 3 divided by 367 equal to 136.2 mm is the length of the parallel fillet weld. Okay. Under fatigue loading. Okay. Uh, after that, you have to add 12.5 mm for starting and stopping of the weld run. Okay. The total length of the weld trans uh, parallel fillet weld L equal to 136.2 mm plus 12.5 equal to 148.7 mm is the total length of the parallel fillet weld okay this is the final answer for this problem this is the example problem number four the question is a plate 75 mm wide and 12.5 mm thick is joined with another plate by a single transverse weld and double parallel fillet weld as shown in figure the maximum tensile and shear stresses are 70 megapascal and 56 megapascal respectively. Find the length of each parallel fillet weld if the joint is subjected to both static and fatic loading. Okay, here also there are two cases. One is uh, static loading and the other one is uh, fatic loading. And here you can observe this is a example problem for a combination of a transverse and the parallel fillet welds okay this vertical weld is a transverse fillet weld and these two horizontal welds are parallel fillet welds okay this is the combination of uh, transverse and and parallel fillet welds problem okay the given question is uh, a plate of 75 mm wide and 12.5 mm thick is joined with the another plate by a single transverse weld single transverse weld and double parallel fillet weld okay as shown in figure the maximum tensile stress that is sigma t sigma t equal 70 mega pascal and shear stress tau equal 56 mega pascal find the length of the each parallel fillet weld length of each parallel fillet weld that is l2 okay from the given question we have to determine the value of l2 okay for static loading and uh, static loading the given values are width of the plate uh, w equals 75 mm okay don't consider this value for determining the value of length okay there is no need this value now thickness of the plate or size of the weld equal to 12.5 mm and here tensile stress is given for transverse fillet weld the tensile stress is uh, Sigma t equals 70 mega pascal equals 70 newton per mm square. For parallel fillet welds, you have to consider shear stress. That value tau equal 56 mega pascal. Okay, here let L1 is the length of the transverse fillet weld and L2 is the length of the parallel fillet weld. Okay. 
the effective length of weld L1 for transverse weld may be obtained by subtracting the 12.5 mm from the width of the plate. Okay. This uh, 12.5 mm is uh, for uh, stopping and uh, starting. Start, starting and stopping of weld run. Okay. So you have to subtract this 12.5 mm from the length of the weld. Okay. Already we know that uh, the this uh, plate, this plate width is 75 mm. 75 mm is the plate uh, width. Okay. So you have to consider L1 equal to 75 minus 12.5 mm equal to 62.5 mm is the length of the weld. Okay. L1 is the length of the actual length of the transverse fillet weld. Okay. After that, you have to determine length of a parallel fillet weld L2. Okay. In case one, you have to consider static loading. Okay. Length. Here L1 already we got L2 is the length of the parallel fillet weld. So you have to determine the value of L2. Here you can observe the thickness of the plate T equal to size of the weld. Yes. Okay. Here P is the tensile load. Now here P, the value of P is obtained from area, welding area into stress. Okay. So already we know the value of tensile stress sigma t. Okay, area of the area of the plate equal to seventy five into twelve point five. Seventy five is the length. Sorry, width of the plate. Width of the plate seventy five and twelve point five mm is into seventy. Equal sixty five thousand six hundred twenty five newtons. Here the 70 is the tensile stress. Okay, 70 is the tensile stress. Okay, 70 is the tensile stress. 12.5 mm is the plate thickness. Small t, this one is small t and this one is sigma t. Okay, this 70 is the tensile stress, 70 mega Pascal. And 12.5 is the thickness of the plate. Here this one, this one is the 12.5. That means uh, size of the plate, size of weld. Okay, 75. 75 is the width of the plate. Okay, 75 is the width of the plate. So this is the formula for uh, tensile strength. Maximum load acting on the welded joint. Okay. Now, P1, P2 are the loads. Okay, transverse load. P1 is the transverse load. P2 is the shear load. Okay. Already we know the formula for a single transverse weld. For single transverse weld, you have to use this formula P1 equal to 0 0.707 into S into L1 into sigma t. L1 is the length of the transverse weld. Okay. L2 is the length of the parallel fillet weld. Okay. Here P1 equal to 38,664 newtons is the tensile strength for transverse weld. Okay. Now, uh, P2 is the tensile strength for uh, double parallel fillet welds. Okay. Now, for double parallel fillet weld, you have to consider 1.414 into S into L2 into tau. Okay. Is the formula for double trans double parallel fillet weld. Okay. Here, the answer is a 9 here, 990 into L2 Newtons. Okay. Here, the value of L2 is not given. We have to determine that value. Okay. So, here the total load is uh, 60, 65,625 Newtons is the maximum load acting on the joint. This value is equal to P1 plus P2. Okay. P1 is the tensile load for transverse weld. P2 is the tensile load for uh, shear load for a parallel fillet weld. Okay. So you have to add uh, these two values. So P equal to P1 plus P2. Here the value of P equals 65,625 and P1 equal to 38,664 and P2 equal to 990. Okay. In this equation, 
from this uh, from this equation you can get the value of l2 l2 is the length of the parallel fillet weld okay so here l2 equal 40 mm but uh, you have to add 12.5 mm you have to add 12.5 mm for uh, starting on the stopping welding okay in second case you have to consider fatigue loading fatigue load okay already we know that p1 equal to 25795 and p2 equal to 300, 366 l2 okay for transverse uh, for sorry for fatigue loadings for fatigue loading you have to consider stress concentration factor for parallel fillet weld from table 10.6 already i explained i already explained about uh, stress concentration table okay from that table you have to consider uh, 2.7 for a double parallel fillet weld okay so from that value you have to determine the value of permissible tensile stress sigma t equal to 70 by stress 70 70 mega pascal is this tensile stress induced in the induced in the welded joint and 1.5 is the stress concentration factor for a single transverse weld okay 1.5 is the stress concentration factor for a single transverse weld 2.7 is the value for uh, double parallel fillet weld. Okay, from those values, you have to determine permissible tensile and shear stresses. Okay, here the permissible tensile stress is 46.7 Newton per mm square, and the permissible shear stress is uh, 20.74 Newton per mm square. Okay, so this is the formula for uh, tensile load for transverse weld. This is the formula for tensile load for uh, par parallel fillet weld okay now you have to add these two values p1 plus p2 that value equal to total load acting on the welded joint in case one already we got that value so capital p equal to 65625 and p1 equal to 25795 p2 equal to 366 okay from this equation you have to determine the value of l2 l2 is the length of uh, parallel fillet weld okay now for uh, after getting the value of l2 you have to add 12.5 mm for starting and stopping of weld run okay so l2 equal to 121.3 mm is the value of length of uh, parallel fillet weld okay now coming to the another problem this is the last problem in this session this is the given question determine the length of the weld run for a plate of size 120 mm wide and 15 mm thick to be welded to be welded to another plate by means of a single transverse weld and double parallel fillet welds when the joint is subject to variable loads Variable loads means uh, fatigue loads. Variable loads, also known as fatigue loads or fluctuating loads. Okay, for determining the length of the well, you have to consider a stress concentration factor for variable loads. Okay, 1.7 for a transverse fillet well, 2.7 for a double parallel fillet well. Okay. So here the width of the plate is at 120 mm. There is no use. Okay, width is uh, not required. Now thickness of the plate uh, T equal to 15 mm, that value equal to size of the weld. And uh, sigma T is the tensile stress, 70 mega Pascal. Tau equal to 15. Okay. Now this is the length, L1 is the length of the transverse fillet weld. This vertical weld is called a transverse uh, fillet weld. Okay, here 75, 75, sorry. Here the width of the plate is uh, 120. Okay, here the width of the plate is 120. So here you can observe. 
the width of the plate equal 120 minus 12.5. Okay, L1 equal 120 minus 12.5 equal to 107.5 mm is the length of the transverse well. Okay. So this value is wrong. Okay. Here L1 is the length of the transverse well, L2 is the length of the parallel fillet well. Okay, already we know the formula for uh, tensile strength P, P equal to area into stress. Okay, from this value, P equal to 126 into 10 power 3 newtons. 120 is the width of the plate. 120 is the width of the plate. Okay. So from table, the stress concentration for uh, transverse weld is 1.5, for double parallel fillet is 2.7, okay. Now the permissible stresses for uh, tensile stress, sigma t equal to maximum stress divided by stress concentration factor for a transverse fillet weld, that value equal 46.7 Newton per mm square. Okay, tau week permissible shear stress equal to 56 by 2.7. 2.7 is the stress concentration factor for parallel fillet well. Tau week 20.74 megapascal. P1, P2 are the loads, tensile loads. P1 is the tensile load for transverse load. P2 is the tensile load for the parallel fillet wells. Already we know the formulas for uh, transverse and uh, parallel fillet wells. Okay, these are the values. Okay. From these two values, uh, you have to determine the value of L2, that is the length of the parallel fillet well. Okay, P equal to P1 plus P2. Here the value P equal to 126,000. Okay, P1 equal to this one, 53,240. P2 equal to 40, 440 L2. Okay, from this equation, L2 equal to 165.4 mm. But you have to add 12.5 mm for starting and stopping of the weld, weld run. Okay. The final length of the parallel fillet weld L2 equal to 178 mm. Okay. Okay. In next, in next class, I will explain more problems on welded joints. Okay.